This is Viltrox and a Morphic Setup 2.0. You've probably seen my previous videos where I mounted this with the Condor Blue cage, but I added a few accessories that are very crucial when filming with this setup. So of course we have the Viltrox 15mm lens, the anamorphic 1.33x squeeze, which will give you a very nice anamorphic look, a bit of over bokeh, and also those anamorphic lens flares. And because this is a 1.33x squeeze, and when you combine that lens with the Lumix S5 Mark II, and shooting in 6K 3x2 open gate mode, that will give you a quite a tall anamorphic image, which is fantastic when you want your videos to be cropped for vertical and horizontal. So if you're doing content for social media and you still want to use anamorphic lenses, this combo is perfect. We have the Condor Blue cage as well as the Condor Blue top handle. The Condor Blue cage is very important because it has a lot of mounting points. So I was able to mount the small rig follow focus system, the Magic Fizz. So right here attached to the cage, I have a NATO rail, which allows me to mount this follow focus handle and also a rod, which is holding the Magic Fizz motor. On the right side, I have another handle. This one is from Aitzen. It's not particularly designed for this rig, but I do already have it. So it is a little bit higher than the left side, but I didn't find this to be much of an issue. On the left side here, I have the D4 mini mic from DAT. Um, the cool thing about this mic is that you can actually run in another mic through this mic and then it will split the channels into left and right. So this mic over here will be on the right channel and on the left channel, you can have your lavalier. And I have the wireless Hololand Lark 150 microphone kit placed into here in the cold shoe of the top handle, which was quite handy and easy to control the levels. Now on the back side, we have a V-mount battery. This one is from Momen and it has a few cool things, which is 2D tap ports on each side, a USB type A and also a USB type C. And also this battery can be charged via USB-C. So you don't actually have to buy a D-tap charger, which is very handy. You can charge it with basically any charger, one that charges your phone. And currently I have plugged in the wireless Magic Fizz follow focus system to the V-mount battery. So the motor is getting powered by the V-mount. Also the V-mount battery is powering the small HD focus monitor. I just have this little plate that goes into a D-tap port, but you can also use just normal NPF batteries to power the monitor. Monitor. Just use a smaller one so it's not too heavy. And the battery just slides into this little V-mount plate that I've attached to the Condor Blue top handle. And this placement for the V-mount battery is literally perfect because when I slide it in, it barely touches the viewfinder plastic outer shell. And last but not least, we have the small HD focus monitor. The reason I'm using this one is that it does have pinch to zoom. So when you're filming on the S5 Mark II in the open gate 3x2 mode, and you're trying to de-squeeze anamorphic, what happens is that you get borders around the edge. So you have to pinch to zoom to actually see your image full screen. But on the Atomos Shinobi and Atomos Ninja, which I usually use, they don't have that pinch to zoom feature. So you basically are left with the black bars on the sides, which is not ideal when you're shooting anamorphic and you wanna make sure that you nail your focus. The monitor on top is mounted on a swivel arm so you can rotate it sideways, you can point it up, point it down. And by the way, this all red monitor mount right here is something we're gonna be launching very soon. So stay tuned for that. We're also gonna have a lot of red accessories for your cameras. So all red magic arms and also red HDMI cables. So definitely stay tuned for that. And if you DM me your email, I'll add you to our waiting list. And the last piece of gear I'm using with this setup is the Easy Rig. It basically holds up this entire rig, just clips on to the top handle, and it basically takes all the weight off my hands so I can have more freedom to easily control the camera, and it puts the weight of the setup on my hips. You have a little bit smoother shots because you have another point of contact, and you can basically shoot with an Easy Rig and this setup for a full day. And if you wanted to hold this, uh, I think maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and you would be pretty much done. So I was using the Easy Rig throughout most of the shoot and that's because we were doing some interview shots as well for about an hour or two so easy rig is definitely a big part of this setup and for some of the shots i did take the easy rig off and just went handheld which allowed me to get a little bit more handheld vibe a little bit more faster shots if you currently don't have an easy rig but you still want to use this kind of a setup i would recommend taking the monitor out from here and putting it in the front cold shoe plates once that's here now you're able to take the rig give it a little bit of a hug 
and you basically have three points of contact. When your arms are tucked in, it's a lot easier to hold and also you're gonna be a lot more stable. So the trick I've been using is having the little monitor flipped out and zoomed in all the way to the center. So the main monitor is for looking at my shot and the little camera monitor is actually showing me the center point all the way zoomed in so I can make sure I nail my focus on this anamorphic lens because anamorphic lenses are a little bit trickier to focus because they do distort the image quite a bit. There's only one thing that I would want to improve on this setup. So the Viltrox anamorphic lens is a PL mount, uh, which means I do have to use a PL to L mount adapter. When you mount the Viltrox lens to the PL mount, that part is very, very sturdy, but the adapter connecting to the camera isn't super tight. That means when you're changing your focus very quickly, the lens has a slight movement to it. So you can probably just see it very slightly. The lens just moves a little bit when I change the focus. Probably the best way of fixing that is to mount a long plate both to the cage and the adapter. So you have two points of contact and that stops it from moving around a bit. If you like this camera setup, definitely consider subscribing for more content. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.